This is John Cavanaugh, president of Dremel, who uh, just uh, got off stage where he made a very exciting announcement about the Dremel 3D Idea Builder. John, uh, congratulations. Can Thank you tell you. everyone uh, what is this uh, Dremel 3D Idea Builder? Well, the, the Dremel 3D Idea Builder is uh, our first venture into 3D printing. And uh, we, what we feel we've, we're introducing is a 3D printer that's really for everyone. Um, we, we're bringing out a 3D printer that we consider to be very approachable, non-intimidating, very simple. And we're really trying to, to design a printer that a novice can use and feel very comfortable with 3D printing such that they can continue to be innovative and not frustrated. So it's a big part of what uh, we feel separates us. We really want to bring out a 3D printer that's accessible to the masses. Yeah. So this is a big step, not just for Dremel, but um, overall, as far as I know, you're the first major tool company that's jumped into the 3D printing uh, field. So, um, what types of what types of preparation went into the the launch of the of the printer? Uh, it was, it was uh, certainly something different. Uh, it, it was clearly a very good fit with our brand and what we do as far as bringing out a tool for creative people. So that that was a fit. But this, this tool required a lot more, more work, um, not only coming out with a 3D printer that was simplified, which we would do with our power tools, but also creating an ecosystem that was broader than the power tool itself. We do that in power tools with things like accessories and attachments, but now we're talking about creating content and educating the user and, and partnering with Autodesk to get to the, the, the software such that the users will stay entertained and growing and uh, really ignite that passion. Those are the types of things that we haven't had to really look at as much in the past with the power tools. Um, also, uh, we've got fantastic product support for, for power tools. We had to develop the same Dremel philosophy on, on uh, product support for 3D printers as well. So that's been a lot of work, but we are very excited uh, that in a, in a relatively short time, we think we've accomplished it. That's great. So, uh, one of the things I think is really interesting is the uh, the software aspect. I know that you know, obviously, there's no typically there's not software attached to power tools. Mm -hmm. um, partnering with Autodesk is that uh, was that done primarily to create the software that drives the printer itself, or is it part of the larger uh, Dremel 3D.com initiative that you guys are doing? It, exactly. It's uh, you know when it comes to running our, our products uh, and it, the, the software there, well, they weren't necessary for that, but really just to uh, the design software and all the great products um, that uh, that Autodesk could bring to us. Um, and, and it's also just a great partner. Their, their path to market is also very similar to ours. They're, they're after the, they go after the same type of makers that we do. Uh, but it's really tied to, and, and now we have it on uh, Dremel3D.com, and the user can go right to that and automatically get absolutely uh, dangerous in what they can do with these awesome tools that Autodesk provides us. And the idea is you've got a great product with what we've given them. We're giving you a, a, a head start and now go do more um, with what Autodesk brings to, the, to the, the, pro the party, basically. And so it's real exciting for us. So one of the other things that's really interesting here is um, the, the idea that now printing is it's evolving. We're moving into mainstream mass market uh, marketplaces. You guys have huge distribution networks mm -hmm. that, you can, that you can tap into that uh, previously haven't existed for uh, for 3D printing, mm -hmm. uh, what what types of um, outlets? Where where will the Idea Builder be available? Well, uh, as as many people know about Dremel, we have got uh, great relationships with uh, with major the major home centers, Amazon, um, Walmart, uh, and many other. We we have very wide distribution. Um, initially, uh, we will be will be piloting the product and selling through uh, Home Depot uh, and Amazon, at least as part of the initial pilot, and that'll be available in November physically and for pre-sale in September. Um, beyond that, uh, we have very broad distribution channels, and people might ask, well, why a 3D printer in some of these, uh, you know, I guess non-electronics uh, distribution? And it's, it's because we think there's just so much more you can do with a 3D printer um, outside of just the object, and it entails using other materials and other tools, and many of our customers fit that perfectly, we feel. Yeah. So I think one of the things we're about to see is this will quickly become probably the most visible 3D printer of everything just because of the Dremel's positioning in, you know, as a major tool. Um, uh, it's going to be interesting to, to watch what happens next with everything. Um, but uh, I'm really excited for you guys. And Thank you. congratulations Appreciate on the launch. Thanks for, Thanks for uh, taking some time at MakerCon to help uh, announce this, this, this huge moment.
Well, we're, we're very excited, very happy to be here, and we're looking forward to a great success and, and having uh, learning a lot more from the makers. Great. Thank you, John. Thanks. Appreciate it, Mike.